What's up, Hollywood stars? Get ready to get carried away with me because today I'm bringing you with a bang on this beautiful festival look. I don't even know what to call it, but it's popping. So keep watching. But I decided that I'm not only going to show you a festival look, but I'm also going to show you how I pluck my own eyebrows because I don't actually wax my brows. I just pluck them myself. So it's super easy. You're just going to be brushing your eyebrow just the way you want the hairs to lay. So then I'm just going to underline the bottom of the brow like so and do the same to the top and while I'm underlining I'm also doing or I'm also giving my eyebrow kind of like the shape that I want it to be and then I'm gonna go back in with the spoolie and brush the hairs one more time. And these little guys, and we're just gonna run that through the top of the brow. And that's basically all I do guys. It's super easy and it literally takes no time at all and it's free. So lately I've just been loving my Tarte Maracuja oil because this stuff is like bomb. I honestly don't have the greatest skin ever. Like I have a lot of breakouts but this just makes my skin feel so hydrated. And honestly, like, it doesn't even matter if you have oily skin because this is not going to overproduce oil. It's actually going to make you be a little bit less oily, which is kind of weird, right? But it also is helping me out with my skin texture, so I love it so much. The Tarte Mercury C Brightener Eye Treatment. And this is a great eye cream just to brighten up the eye area. So we're just going to use this to keep the skin hydrated. And I think this is a great step in your everyday routine. But, hello, festivals of course, because if you guys been to festivals, you know how freaking hot and how humid and how drying that air is. So you want your skin to be nice and moisturized. So for the eyes, I decided why not bring out the highly talked about subculture palette. Okay, so we are going to grab our Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade with your favorite angled brush and we're just gonna do those eyebrows. We'll see you in a bit. Yes. MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot we used earlier in our lids and I'm gonna use just a little bit of the Too Faced Born This Way powder just to set it. I'm going to be using now the subculture palette and I've been seeing this look on the gram and like on different YouTube videos and I love the way the colors go together so I'm going to be using the first color I'm going to be using is edge which is this mustard yellow right here I definitely love this color it's such a pretty color on the pan, it definitely picks up a lot more yellowish, but on the eye, it definitely comes off a little bit more mustardy yellow. So I guess plucking my eyebrows right before this was not a good idea, because as you can see, I have like all of these little bumps from my me plucking. So if you're going to pluck, don't do it before an event. Do it like at night before bed 
but I have to say it does have quite a bit of fallout so you can kind of see that right there okay color so just like this and we're gonna add some to the inner corner Maybe I should have gotten a smaller brush for this inner corner, but whatever, we'll work with it. And then we're going to bring it up. Okay, so now I think I'm going to pick up that brush that it comes with. And I'm going to do this little fluffy side. Pick up a little bit of that. And kind of add this a little bit to the crease just so that everything starts to blend together so now for the center of the lid um, I think I'm going to be picking up Adorn which is this beautiful color here and just going to place it in the middle of the lid you guys honestly I love this look it's totally giving me like festival looks great because this is what we were trying to achieve we're gonna be picking up the original um, Sigma brush we were working with lastly and just with whatever's left on the brush we're just gonna try to blend out these harsh edges I'm gonna be just picking up a little bit more so that it's really pops up okay okay so now I'm going to be picking up our mustardy yellow that we were working with earlier and just going to be adding that to the crease a little bit more just so that it's a little bit more pigmented and everything blends together. All right, guys, so I popped on the lashes. Look at how beautiful these are. These are Bad and Bougie by Icon, and they're definitely Bad and Bougie. This bomb. Like, it definitely makes your face look like kind of like an airbrushed finish once you put your foundation on. And it's only like $4, $5 at the Target. So for foundation, we're going to be using the NYX Total Control Drops. And we're just going to blend it out with a beauty blender. We'll be right back. Alright guys, so now we're just going to highlight with our Tarte Shape Tape. Just like so. And we're just gonna blend that all out with our beauty blender once again. So now we're just gonna set our face and bake a little bit with our Too Faced translucent powder. And now we're just gonna set the rest of the face. I'm gonna be using my Morphe R7 brush and I just got this brush in my Life Glam package um, by Morphe. So you sign up, it's like a, tr a subscription. And so now I'm just gonna use Hula Bronzer by Benefit and we're gonna just carve out our cheekbones. And bronze up the rest of our face. So when it comes to festival makeup, everything is extra. So we're gonna be using um, 
this color by Clean Color. It's a blush and it's super pigmented and we're going to be using that as a blush and also for some extra color in our face. So just with a fluffy brush, we're just going to pack it on. And we're going to add some to our forehead. Just to the top section of our forehead, down to our temples. Just like so. This is so fun. I love festival makeup. So for highlight, we're going to be using the Artist Couture Highlight. And this is in the color Mermaid Fantasy. It's so pretty. It's like an iridescent bluish greenish teal color. Now we're going to be using this super big fluffy brush. And we're just going to pick some of that up and add it. Whoa, look at that. So pretty. And then we're also going to be adding that highlight to our brow bone and a little bit to the inner corners. For our waterline, we want to look like super angelic and super festival. So we're going to use juice. We're going to use that white eyeliner and put it in our waterline. And for our lash line, we're going to be using this guy again, Untamed, and our lower lash line. And then we're just going to finish up the eyes with some Their Real Mascara, both in the top, top and bottom lashes. So I think I'm going to add some of this, um, the Subculture Untamed color a little bit to my cheekbones. And I'm just going to use this little e.l.f. tapered brush. To the top. So now for the fun part, we're going to be adding some of this Gypsy Shrine um, glitter, and, and they have sequins glitter. And this is one of this is what's going to take your festival look from bland to top notch Gypsy Shrine glitter. So you usually I like using um, Vaseline to adhere it, but for now we're just going to use some all nighter because. That's what we have handy. So I just like to dip my finger in and start applying it. Look how pretty that is. And like I said, um, this will stick with just anything that you have. Um, I If I'm going to like a festival, then I use uh, Vaseline because I like using that better. I feel like it really sticks in place. And it's gonna not go anywhere at all. But you can also use just some Fix Plus, some setting spray. And then to finish up this look, I'm just gonna be using a little bindi. You can get this on eBay. And I think I'm just gonna use um, like a baby blue with teal. And um, for the actual festival, they do it here because they're kind of like stickers, but you want to place a little bit of eyelash glue to the back of this so it could stay all night long. But for this video, we're just going to pop it on like that. And to just finish up the lips, I think I'm going to be using... Whoa. What the fuck? Weird. Clo Money by the Coco Collection by Kylie Cosmetics. Jouet, Jouet, Jouet sounds good. Jouet Cosmetics, Pamplemousse, a little bit on the center of the lips. To finish the look, we're going to add these super pretty festival feather earrings, which are just going to complete the look.